Hi everyone, and welcome to Season 4, Week 9 of the Los Altos Juice Frost Team Builder Dynasty. And this week we will be playing the Arizona Wildcats. As you guys can see from the caption, we are up to number 6 in the country now after starting the Season 7-0. and And we are shocking the college football world, as the quotation says. So unbelievably, we are number 6 in the country. I don't know how that's possible. We haven't really played any uh, strong opponents yet, so maybe we will have to wait and see to see if we deserve that ranking. But good start here against Arizona. BJ Kelly gets it inside the 15. A couple plays later, it's third and seven. A lot of guys recovered. Probably a bad decision there to try to go to the back of the end zone, and we end up just kicking a field goal, so we're up 3-0. Arizona, I would say, is probably a mediocre team in the Pac-12. So definitely uh, not a team to take lightly, since we're supposed to be an underdog against every Pac-12 team. So a mediocre team is definitely going to be a serious opponent for us. And nice job there by Lopez to first give a stiff arm and then duck a couple more receivers to pick up additional 15 yards. So you can see why Lopez is one of their star players. And nice trucking there to get a first down. But a couple plays later, it's 3rd and 12. And Arizona just throw this one way out of bounds near the cheerleaders. So Arizona is forced to kick a field goal. So now it's 3-3 three to three and we get the ball to Warren, Warren Ball. Very close to being intercepted and we just barely fit it in there with enough time to get the catch. Now we get uh, the ball to Alan Causey on the short route. Still a nice first down completion. This time it's Kazi again, and he's able to stretch the play enough for another first down inside the red zone. Fletcher is pumped. Now after a couple plays, it's third and five. And we're really hoping to come away with a touchdown here and not settle for a field goal like we did last time. A great job by BJ Kelly to go with the misdirection inside out uh, route and get the first down. And now from here, it's pretty much a formality as Moye takes it in. And we are up 10-3. So after a couple plays, Arizona takes over and it's third and eight. And they hit Richards, their start right wide receiver on a sit route. Simple uh, pitch and catch there. Now it's third down again, this time third and five. And they got a man wide open, it's Lopez. And Lopez comes down with it. This time Allen drops back the pass and he's got a man coming across the middle, it's Roberts. And Roberts is inside the red zone. So Arizona State is definitely uh, showing some strength here. And they get into Williams and Williams just trucks his way to the one yard. And from here I don't think there's much we can do. And Lopez just ducks his head and dives into the end zone. So 10-10. Now it's two men under, and we are sacked because I took too long. I didn't want to make a throw that I'll regret later. This time we got a man wide open deep. It's a busted coverage. It's Chad Sapp, and there's no way they're going to catch him. Yep, the defender dives, completely misses. And just like that, 17-10, and Chad Sapp silences the crowd. But Arizona State is still coming back strong, and I can feel that this is going to be a dogfight. Second and seven, they give it to Lopez, the running back. He gets around the corner. He gets enough yards for the first down. He's past midfield. A couple plays later, it's third and eight. So this is a good opportunity for us to stop them if we can. But Allen goes deep. We got him, man. Oh, man. Our defender had the receiver completely boxed out. That should have been interception. But unfortunately, it's not. And now Arizona, uh, Arizona is going to be punting. But they decided to go with a fake. And I had a zone coverage ready, and given that it was 4th and 8, probably a bad decision on their part. And we take over near midfield. Big mistake, a huge change of field position, but unfortunately Fletcher is sacked. And now brings up a dangerous 3rd and 18, especially given that there's still half a minute left if we cannot convert. And we go deep, and it's missed. So unfortunately, 
we do have to give the ball back to Arizona, and Arizona has half a minute to do some damage, but they were not able to do any damage, but they also get the ball to start the second half. So definitely not out of the woods yet. We're just up by 7, and it's a very tenuous lead at this point. Now 3rd and 1, and we actually stopped their running back Wilkinson. The first man didn't get him, but the second man made sure to clean up, and Arizona was forced to punt. And now on 2nd and 4, on our possession, we give it to Moye. Moye goes straight up the middle, good 10-yard pickup for a first down. And now we got a man wide open, it's Chad Sapp. They're not going to catch him. Another touchdown for Chad Sapp. This time he uh, T-bowls, the first time he shushes the crowd. Uh, nice celebrations by Chad Sapp. I like his uh, variety of celebrations. So now a couple plays later, it's 3rd and 15 for Arizona, and they're going deep, and that is almost picked off by Leonard. And I think the momentum has truly swung in our favor now. We're up 24-10 and the ball. We can even play a little bit of clock management if we wanted to. And this time we get to Robertson, does he stay in balance? I'm not sure. Yes, he, no, I don't know. Actually, I'm not sure. But anyway, on second and four, we play a little bit of clock management. Moye gets 10. Great job to keep the drive going and keep the clock ticking. And now it's down to four minutes, and we got Alan Kazi, and he almost makes it to the five. And then on second and goal, well, we snap it with two seconds left on the play clock, and Moye, nice spin move there, keeping his balance to get the touchdown. Yep, and it's time to celebrate. Fletcher feels it. There's four other guys uh, also feel it. And it's 31 to 10. This game was pretty close for the most part uh, in the first half of the game. But we were able to blow it right open in the second half. And I think Arizona, they just got into too many of these third and longs. For example, like this one. Whereas it was just really difficult for them to convert. Like here, they still cannot convert. And it brings up a 4th and 2, which they're obviously going to go for. And this is going to be a nice catch here by Adrian, and he gets inside the 10. And now on 2nd and 1, they got Roberts wide open for a touchdown. And now Arizona will be going for a onside kick. And Rosario, the tight end, is able to come up with it. Nice job shutting down any... Uh, hopes for Arizona to come back and this time Moya goes straight up the middle. We probably don't even need this kind of run But we get it anyway And now we go with a smash route in an attempt to run up the score and we got a man wide open. It's BJ Kelly Not sure why he's still in the game. I should have taken him out But oh well at least he didn't get hurt. So uh, no harm no foul there So the final is 38-17 a comprehensive win over Arizona so, so far, we have three pretty easy wins in the Pac-12. I mean, with the exception of the Colorado game, where it was extremely close, uh, we have been able to roll these Pac-12 opponents. Obviously, we haven't played anybody good yet. We haven't played USC. We haven't played Oregon. But next week, we are going to be playing against Oregon. So, that is going to be a huge test for our team. But it's good to know that we're going to be going into that tilt with an 8-0 record, so if, even if we lose, it's not going to be a big deal, but it will be a great game, and I hope you guys watch that. So see you next time.